The Viter Pro XR glasses, are these the best AR glasses for your Mac? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So basically I'm a Mac channel, right? And after the Vision Pro from Apple came out, I thought that's a really, really cool device. But then I thought about it really hard and long and I said, I'm not crazy. I'm not spending four grand on a pair of goggles. Okay, so being a Mac channel, I figured I still need to find some of the best glasses out there, but in my budget for my Macs here. So what did I find? Well, let's take a look at the screen. Right here on Amazon is $459. That's a pretty good price, right? One-tenth the price of the Apple Vision Pro. But these are the Vitar, or V-I-T-U-R-E, Pro XR AR glasses. And it says uh, $459, an incredible price. Now, I'm not going to compare these to the Apple Vision Pro. Those are way more advanced. But what I want as a Mac person is for these to kind of show all my screens in their glory in front of me so I can do productivity work or gaming and stuff on my Mac. And will these do it for the cost? And I also know that I buy tech all the time and it sits in the corner and collects dust. I don't want that $4,000 paperweight over there from the Apple Vision Pro. So I figured I'm going to give this a try. And let me tell you, this is going to be all about Macs. I'm going to go through some of the actual, first I'm going to start off by just going through, you know, a basic, you know, all the specs and everything of the glasses, but I'll have kind of timestamps. Definitely stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how these look on the screen in front of me on your Mac. So this is more Mac, not gaming oriented or anything like that. It's all about using your Mac with these glasses. And I'm going to show you the different orientations of screens. I figured out a way to film it. It's not perfect, but very, very close to what I see. So you want to stay tuned for that because it's really cool on how these things work. And you're going to see that in the video coming up here. Okay, for starters, these look like a set of Ray-Ban glasses, kind of, don't they? Maybe, right? At least I think you can get away with walking around and not look like a complete bozo with these things. I think they're better than some of the other ones out there. I think they actually look pretty good. They're about 78 grams, so they're actually pretty light. You can wear these for a really long time without getting a lot of fatigue on them as well. So that was one huge positive for me. But overall, you guys can see the look and feel of it. They're, you know, they're obviously a little thick on the sides and the top. I'll show you some close-ups as I'm talking about them. But overall, I don't think they look that bad, right? You could probably get away with walking down the street and having your phone connected to this, and it looks, you know, almost normal. I guess nothing's too normal when you have something like this in your face, but overall, I think they do a pretty good job. All right, so the screens on this thing, first of all, just let's go through some quick specs. The screens on these things are amazing. There are two 1080p screens, one for each eye, and they call it Sony micro OLED screens, right? So they're incredible. They're 4,000 nits. They'll burn your corneas. I use them at like 50% brightness at most. They're super bright, even in like, if you go outside and stuff like that, they're bright enough. They actually shock me when I used them. When I first put them on, they say that they're like over a thousand nits perceived brightness just because of the distance from the eyes but they're bright enough for just about anything and the clarity is amazing. So the sharpness, these are the pro version. They have another version that had a little problems with like sharpness in the corners. Trust me, these are super sharp. Once you get the, the nose, there's some nose, um, you know, I guess you can size them differently. There's some kind of nose plugs here that you can actually, I'll show you the picture of them, but you can actually um, change them out depending on your nose size and stuff like that. But you want to dial that in so that they actually, you know, that they work perfectly for your face. Once you get it dialed in though, the sharpness in the corners are incredible. You can look everywhere and you don't really see any fuzziness all around. And like I said, the 4,000 nits, you know, what they're claiming here is pretty incredible. So you don't ever ask for more brightness on these things. And the screen clarity is, is you know, it just rivals, and I can actually almost see them better than looking at my Mac screen, my 24 inch screen just this far from me. So I think overall, there's no problem with the screen here. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be up to 135 inches. Now, I hear people on other reviews saying, oh, it doesn't look that big in front of me. Well, let me tell you a couple of things. So basically, if you sit, you know, right up against the wall, it's not gonna look that big. It's gonna maybe look a little bit bigger than this screen. But if you sit far away, like nine, you know, nine feet away from a wall or something, and you open up the glasses so you can kind of see through them a little bit, and you put them, you know, let's say you put your TV behind it, your 75 inch, this will appear way bigger than that. So when you're watching movies and stuff like that, and you're a little bit further away, it looks massive. 135 inches, it's, it's way bigger than my, you know, I have a 65 or 75 inch screen. It's way bigger than that when you do that. So keep in mind that it depends how you use them and if you black them out or not. And we'll get into that in a second. Now, another reason I actually picked these up when I was doing my research is they have some little dials up here and it basically lets you dial in. They call them myopia settings or something. And they can go up to like ne negative 5D, whatever that means, 500 degrees or something. But what it does, you can dial in each eye. And so let's just say you have contacts in like I do. I can dial it in so it's crystal clear. But if I take my contacts out and I can't see this far in front of me, I can dial them in again with no glasses or anything like that. And actually I can see the screen perfectly clear. It's pretty amazing. So obviously I think they come with a, you know, a whole bunch of accessories you can, you know, where you can put in, I think, prescription lenses, but I just don't need 
need them. I actually wear contacts. I've tried them with and without. And by using these dials here, I can see the screen perfectly clear in both cases. And that's just a huge, huge plus there. Well, you don't have to deal with all the other stuff that's out there. So overall, I think that's one of the best features right here. And I'm not sure anyone else has that. And another thing this thing has that's basically a first is they call it electric chromic film. And I'll show you as I'm talking because you just have to see it working. If you hit a little button on, on the actual, you know, it's on the frame of the glasses, and you just tap it, it'll change the frame from dark or clear to dark, I guess. You can see it go in and out there. So if you want to black out the entire world, you can click that. And it's going to get rid of like 98% of all visible light. Um, they also, you can buy one of these little things here, which actually go over them if you want to black out 100% of the light. I don't even use those. These things work so well. So if you want to kind of see through them, like I said, where you can see the giant screen when you have your TV behind you or something, and you're just looking at it you can do that but if you want to be kind of in an immersive environment you're watching a movie you click that button everything darks out and it works flawlessly there another huge plus and i'm not sure anyone else has that either and then on the sides over here um, there's a couple of little speakers i don't know if they're on the top or the bottom i'll show you some close-ups but there's some grills here but overall they have a partnership with Harman sound and i can tell you one thing these things kind of if you're standing like two feet from somebody they can't hear what you're hearing but you can hear it crystal clear it's very very good audio for what it is of course you can put in ear pods or something but with the audio that they have on here it's it's amazing you can hear like music videos and stuff if you're watching them and the person next to you doesn't really get bothered by it because it's not that loud for them i don't know how they do it it just sits right on top of the ear it just sounds really crisp and clear. Now, they're not going to be perfect, obviously, because they, they're not in the ear. You can obviously put ear pods in for that. But overall, I give this probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10 and, and kind of just what they did here with what they have. Pretty amazing. All right, so since I'm a Mac channel, we're going to get into the Mac stuff now. But keep in mind that these things are incredible for gaming. So if you're a gamer, there's a ton of videos out. Just check out YouTube. You can plug this into like a Steam Deck or an Xbox, and they're just perfect. I mean, I tried a couple games on my Mac even, and it's so fun. They have accessories as well that come. They have controllers. They have devices where you can connect in multiple people and see the same screen playing a game like a two-player game. They have everything for gaming. Um, it's just an amazing device. One one thing that I noted, you know, that I didn't like that much was just the, the length of the cord here. If you're trying to share this with somebody or you're just moving around a little bit, it's really, really short. But they have you covered there. They have they sell a couple little dongles. They sell like an additional cord that extends this one. And then they sell like this little device that actually plugs in and makes it so that you can actually use your own USB cord. So pretty amazing. And on top of that, it's so easy to plug this thing in and out. And I'll show you a close up of that. But basically, it has kind of almost like a, you know, a MagSafe charger almost. It snaps right in magnetically. And it doesn't get, if you pull it, it'll actually pull out because it's ba based on a magnet. So it doesn't rip the whole cord out. And, it, you know, you don't have to, when you have the glasses on, you don't have to be fumbling around. You just go like this. It'll snap. It's really strong. It'll snap right in and you're ready to go without actually having to take the glasses off and try to find the plug. So let's get into using this with a MacBook or a Mac. And, and before I do that, just really quickly, I'm going to touch on an iPad and an iPhone. So what this thing can do is if you, if you plug this into like the 10th gen iPad, which I did, I have a gold one. It worked. My whole screen was right in front of me. I could flip it, watch a movie, worked right out of the box, no problems at all. It's got that USB-C coming out of it. That's what you need. You could obviously do this with an iPhone as well. So if you're in a plane or something, you can watch all your content on your iPhone. But those, I mean, there's some problems with like, you know, obviously you have to, you know, if you have an iPad and you're looking at it on a screen, you got to be able to navigate down here. There's some cool features built into these I'll get into. But overall, that experience was really good. Just, you know, you want to get your content set up, then you can lay back and watch it. It's pretty amazing even on an iPad or an iPhone. But again, that's not what this is about. This is more about being on a MacBook. And I'm going to get into that right now. And I'm going to show you guys exactly the orientation that you can see on this. All right, so if you plug this directly into a MacBook like I have, I have an M2 MacBook Air or my iMac over here, again, it'll automatically pass through the signal. You'll have a giant screen in front of you of exactly what you see. And if you were, if that's all it was, I would still be happy, if that's all it was. But it's so much more than that, all right? So you take that with a grain of salt. You guys have to try it yourself. I can't really, sh I'm going to show you some examples in a second, but it's not going to come through exactly the same. But overall, that's the first thing. So if you plug it directly in and you don't add any more software, which I'm going to get into, you just get the single screen in front of you. It's giant, it's clear, it's sharp, but still there's a lot more coming. All right, to get the true glory with your Macs and your MacBooks and everything else, you need to download an app. And look over here. This is called Space Walker for Mac OS. And this is by Virtu right here. You can see it right here. But you, it's when I download this, this wasn't actually on the App Store. You got to go get it. You got to go out to the internet and find it. But here it is. It's called Space Walker for Mac OS. You go ahead and you have to install this. Follow the directions. You got to go ahead and just change a couple settings on your Mac to get it to work. But once you have the software installed, you go through all this, download it. It, it, it gives you a whole bunch of more capability. So the very first thing that you'll see once you launch it and you have your kind of your glasses plugged in is this screen right here. It says select a layout. And so what I'm going to do now 
and this is kind of what the whole video is about is you can select all these different layouts and you can actually select up to a hundred and you know 120 hertz you can see it right there on the screen it's amazing so i'm going to go ahead and just show you all the orientations i was able to film this somehow i don't know it's a little bit jittery because of the way i had to do it because if you move your head it jitters a lot but just stay with it because it's going to show you all the orientations of single screen dual screens triple screens up and down full panoramic screens, everything. And this thing can do it all with this kind of app loaded on these goggles here. So this is the kind of the meat and potatoes of the product, right? I can do so much productivity work with this, but before I even get into talking about all that, let me just show you right here, let's dive in. All right, so this is the best feature of these glasses. And this is the reason I want this for a Mac for sure. So watch this, this is the most important part of the video. So here I am on a single display and you, you guys will just see a single display up there. I'm seeing like a 130 inch screen in front of me. It looks beautiful. So this is single display mode, right? Not, not that important, but let's go up to this app up here. This is gonna be the app that I was talking about. It's called the Space Walker right here. You can see that we're at 120 Hertz right there and we're in single display mode. So we have a single display in front of us, but I'm gonna go through these other modes down here. And these are the cool ones. So just hold on a second. So this says two displays side by side, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now what do I have is I have two displays. You can see the center one right in front of me. But if I look over to the right, look at there's a whole second display there and it's glory. It looks super clear to me up there on the screen. But I'm gonna move back. I can take a window like this, obviously. Let me just grab it. And I can move it right over here and drop it there. I can move it right back. So I have two different displays in front of me for working like that. Pretty incredible. Obviously, you can get this with a MacBook Air. I have an M2 MacBook Air. You can get a, you know, a secondary display in front of you, I guess. Um, but this is two up there, and it's really cool, right? So, But that's not where this stops. Let's go back up to this app up here. I'm going to click on it again. Now, we're right there. So we're going to go down to the next one. Three displays side by side. This should not be possible with an M2 MacBook Air, right? But it is. So I'm going to click on this. Now here it's going to recalibrate everything. It's going to take a second. There it is. So now I have the screen in the middle. If I look to the right, I have a screen and it's all, all its glory right there on the right. You can see a completely separate screen. And then if I go back over this way, I'm trying to move slowly so I don't get you sick. I have a whole nother screen over there. So take a look at this. Now I have three different screens on a MacBook Air. I can drop anything I want, open any windows I want. And I can move this over here. I can move this over here. I have three different workspaces and it's giant all in front of me. Pretty amazing, right? On an, on an M2 MacBook Air, this should not be possible. Crystal clear in front of me, massive. And it looks bigger. So like, let me just tell you a secret. This looks bigger, but a lot of people complain that it doesn't look that big to them. If you sit right next to a wall, that's the case. But if you put this, if it, let's say you're sitting about nine feet away from a TV, this will appear way bigger than the TV. So just keep that in mind. That's gonna look a lot bigger to you. It's way bigger than my big screen TV. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to the app up here. I'm gonna click on it again. Now we're gonna try something different. Three stack displays, see it right here? I'm gonna click on that. Wait for this to load in, here it comes. Now look at this. Now if you like stack displays, I have the one in the middle right here. But look at this, I have a bigger one up here, giant screen up there. And then if I move my head down, I have a whole nother one down there. So I can work this way as well. Here's my cursor here. Obviously I can move this up here if I want to, and I can go down and I can move this down here. But pretty amazing, I have three different screens, this kind of real estate, but one up and then one down as well. Now that's even amazing, right? But that's not even the coolest feature, so let's keep moving. If I go ahead and click on this again, we're gonna go down to my favorite probably, which is the ultra wide panoramic here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Now watch what happens, it's gonna recalibrate. And as you can see here, look at this. I Now I have my cursor here. Look at the size of this screen here, it's giant, right? So take a look over here, it goes all the way to the left and then this goes all the way back over here to the right. So I can take this and I can put a, you know, an app over here, way over here and then look at all the real estate I have here. I have tons of real estate here, just tons of it. I can probably put three different applications on my screen all on just one screen. So this is a big like, you know, imagine if you had like a 50 inch screen in front of you, like a wide screen. It acts kind of like like that. And if I move my head, it'll kind of move over. It's pretty amazing here. This is one of the favorite things. You can put tons of different things up here, watch movies like this. It is pretty amazing. All right, and then there's one last mode here. Let me go ahead and click on this. This last one's called Portrait Landscape Portrait and it's exactly what you think. I'm gonna click on it. So this last one, look at this. So I have landscape in the middle, right? But then on the left-hand side, look at that way up there, all the way down, I have a portrait mode. And then if I go like this and I look all the way over here, I look all the way up and then all the way down, I have another portrait mode. So I have three different screens and I have them all different orientations here. Pretty crazy. So at the end of the day, this is just pretty incredible. This is what it's all about. This this app, this basically, what's it called again? Spacewalker app. This is what makes it so good for, for a Mac, especially at 120 hertz. Besides that in here, there's move displays closer. You can move them closer or further from you. You can move displays further right there. You can recenter this. And if you get kind of get disoriented, you can recenter them. You can calibrate them. Heads down transparencies where you can see your keyboard when you move your head down. 
You can shake cursor to center, reduce motion blur, which I don't get too much because it makes it a little dark. You can smooth foul, which is what I do here where the screen follows you. I totally recommend that. You can mirror the displays or you can extend the displays. And there's a whole bunch of other things in here you can do as well, which I'm not going to get into. As I move my head, you can see how the screen will follow me just like that. So overall, this is what it's so good at. I mean, this is what makes this, this worth the money, all right? So you can get all your work done on three very, very clear screens. Nothing's really kind of, you know, everything's crisp even in the corners on these things. You can move it further or closer away if it's not, or, you know, change the nose piece out. But I highly recommend this. This is one of the best products out there. And uh, for me, you know, I, I, it's, it's got to be at least a 9 out of 10 just by using it in an overall cost. So I'm going to wrap up this segment and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, so what do you think? And I, again, I apologize about the shakiness. That's not how it looks to me. It does not look like that. It looks perfectly smooth. It's got a whole bunch of settings where you can do smooth foul or you can keep it set in a certain region. So it's kind of hard to film it. But would I recommend these goggles or glasses or AI glasses for $459 bucks if you're your Mac user? Absolutely. Like I said, there's very, very few negatives to it. It's very simple. I think the simplicity of it is actually one of its advantages. Now, there's going to be some other things like thing from Meta. You know, you might argue that that could be a better value at the cost because you can do a lot more with it, of course. But the simplicity of this and working with your Mac and also the Spacewalker software makes this thing invaluable, basically. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. If you have three different screens up, even on an error like that doesn't even allow that usually, you can get so much work done. It's, you know, if you want to watch a movie or play a game on your Mac, it's perfect. The sharpness is perfect. The brightness is perfect. The OLED screens are very nice to look at. So overall, I just can't complain with the device, right? Like I said, there's a couple little things that I didn't like as far as the cord basically um, being too short, but you can fix that if you want to. And a couple other things, like I said, you know, you have to kind of dial in the dials and you also have to make sure the nose, you know, piece is the right size for you. There's a whole bunch you can choose from. But when you get it dialed in, it just works so well. And it's a pretty amazing experience for me, at least, because I didn't think it could be this good, you know, so soon. So I'm kind of shocked you know what's coming next really now i know these aren't the apple vision pro they're not supposed to be competing against them they're one tenth the cost and even like i said the meta device is the only other thing that could possibly maybe dethrone this but if you like simple if you like just a simple pass through multiple screens use a spacewalker app you want to get some work done you know it's perfect and it didn't make me sick either so that's the other thing I wasn't really feeling like I was you know, claustrophobic in them. Um, I didn't get motion sickness. Now that's just me. I'm not saying that's you. That just, I thought I might get something like that. I played games in this, but overall it works really, really well. So I just want to say, I'm not getting paid by them to say this. I was just kind of legitimately shocked by it, right? They did not pay me to say it and uh, they're not paying me anything. And they didn't even want to see the video before this went out. So just wanted to let you guys know my opinion of this. If you're a Mac user, definitely check these out. What are they? You know, the vir Virtu, I can't say it. I, I wish I could say it, but the Pro XR glasses, make sure you get the Pro, not the earlier version. 459 bucks. I have links in Amazon. Check them out. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.